Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking snow globe effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need here is we need a snow globe. So I've just gone to Adobe Firefly and I've put in my prompt, a fantasy castle made of ice in a snow globe uh, with some falling snow, rising sun and I've been given these images and honestly they are gorgeous. So the one that I ended up choosing was this one um, but again you can choose whatever you want all you need to generate is a snow globe uh, that has a globe so we can put some snow in there and that's about it so once you have your image let's take it into after effects so here we are in after effects and the first thing that we are going to do is create a new composition and i'm just going to keep it at 3840 by 2160 so this is going to be 4k 30 fps at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds just press ok once you've done that, then the next thing that you need to do is you need to import your file. So I've just dragged my Firefly document to the timeline over here. And all I'm going to do is just press S for scale and just, just going to scale it up slightly until it fits just like that. So now that we've done that, now we need to generate some snow. And it's pretty easy. All you need to do is go new adjustment layer. And then what we are going to do is we are going to search for the CC snowfall effect. Now we need to change a few settings here. I am going to bump up the flakes to let's say 40,000. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to bring that up to about 10. I'm also going to change the speed and drop the speed down. So maybe 125. And I'm also going to open up this uh, wiggle setting over here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change the flake flatness and I'm just gonna bring that down to about 20, all right? And then the final thing is to bring up the opacity to 100%. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have snow falling down but it's not quite inside the globe so there are a few things that we can do to get it inside the globe the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a mask so we are going to stay on that adjustment layer i'm going to grab the ellipse tool and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold command and shift then i'm going to draw a circle from the middle of that snow globe now it doesn't have to be perfect because what we're going to do is i'm just going to grab the selection tool and i'm just going to grab these points individually and i'm just going to move it slightly so i'm going to move this one up a bit and i'm going to increase that size and i'm going to do the same for the other side over here now it doesn't have to be perfect but the closer you get it within the constraints of the globe the better it will look. Now, if you want to move one of these handles just by itself, you will have to hold command. And now you can move one of these just by themselves. So you can play around with that until you get it around the actual globe. And when you're happy with it, scrub through and you can see what you have created. So now we have the snow inside the globe and that looks pretty cool. So another effect we're going to add on here is we are going to add CC Lens. Now we're not going to go too crazy with this. We just want a little bit of bendiness at the top. So you can see the, the difference here. So maybe if we set it to about 400 and then we take it on and off, it just makes it bend a little bit. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to keep that. So now what we need to do is now we need to make the lights in here kind of you know go on and off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another new adjustment layer and i'm going to put it underneath the first adjustment layer so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the effect called brightness and contrast so now that i have my brightness effect on here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold option and i'm going to hit that stopwatch for brightness and then i'm going to write this expression wiggle i'm going to go let's say 1.5 comma 40 and now if you've done that correctly now you will see that it goes lighter and darker but it applies to everything in this clip so what we need to do now is on that adjustment layer we need to draw a mask around the little you know, this little door over here so all i'm going to do is using the pen tool i'm just going to draw a quick mask 
And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you want to go in there and move anything around, you can. And I'm also going to do one here as well. So something like that. And so now if you preview that, now you can see it's kind of flickering. And again, you can change up the mask position if you want. So all you have to do is just highlight the things that you want to uh, move and you can do it just like that. So I'm gonna keep it to that. But what I am going to do is I'm just gonna add a bit of a feather to those masks. So I'm just gonna press F and I'm just gonna increase the feather to let's say 20 and 20. So that will just soften the edges a little bit. So now we've got some lighting effects in there. We have the snow falling. It's looking pretty cool. The final thing that we can do in here is we can create another adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer will go all the way at the top. And what we can do is we can add an effect called curves. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw up a very simple S bend just to make it like a little bit more kind of vibrant over here. And also we are going to be adding in another effect which is called Lumetri Color. So what we can do with Lumetri Color is we can go down here in the creative settings and we can look up some different LUTs. So the LUTs I've been using in a lot of my uh, clips is this SL Gold Rush. I'll just use the HDR version. And now it creates a little bit more of a bluer kind of vibe. So I'm just gonna drop that down to maybe, I don't know, let's say 70 or so. And now you can see that we've got a pretty cool kind of vibe going there. So the final adjustment layer that we are going to add is just a bit of noise on top of everything. So we'll probably add about 8% noise. And so now it's got a little bit of noise and grain. So that is looking pretty cool. The final thing that I did is I created a scale in animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight all of that and then go to layout pre-compose. And then if I just press S for scale and then uh, set a keyframe, move to the end of that composition and then just set it to about 110. And now we have a nice little scale in animation for our snow globe. So that's about it for this short tutorial. Uh, that's how you create uh, snow within a snow globe. Uh, using After Effects. So I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.